Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error code that is 0x807002. So if you're receiving this error with Xbox app on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First step is to repair or reset the Xbox app. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app and then click on app settings. Scroll down here, you can see the repair option. Click on repair. And once the repair is done, now you can check. If that does not work, click on terminate at the top. Once that is done, now click on reset, reset. And once the reset is complete, now you can open Xbox app and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run gaming services repair tool. To run the gaming services repair tool, you can type in gaming services repair tool in Google search and then go to Microsoft website. Here you can see gaming services repair tool, Xbox support, go to official website. And then here you can see downloadable version, click on it, scroll down, click on download the gaming services repair tool for PC and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the process complete. This process may take some time. And once you see completed successfully, you can close this and then again, try to launch Xbox app and then check. Still not working. Then uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. And once done, copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. This will open store on your computer and then over here you will see the get button or install option to install gaming services. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once this is installed, you can try to launch Xbox app and then you can check. Right now the Xbox app is installing. That's why you see update option over here. So let the installation complete first and then you can try to install, try to launch Xbox app. So here you can see it's uh, almost done. Once done, now you can launch Xbox app once again. So let me close it and then launch it. Now still not working in that case, the next step is to update Xbox app from store library. So open Microsoft store on your computer. Once you open Microsoft store, at the bottom left over here, you will see the download option. So go to downloads option and then click on check for update. If there is any update for Xbox app, it will update it. So click on check for update and then you will see update all option. So if you see update all option, update all and then check. You can even go to library and if you see Xbox app over here and if, they, if you see update option, you will see this icon like this. So if you see update option, you can update it from here and then you can launch. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app. Now for this, you can type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app, click on uninstall, uninstall. And once the uninstall is done, now you can open store on your computer. And once you open Microsoft store in the search box, you can type in Xbox app and then click on Xbox app and you can install it from here and then check. If that does not work, you can uninstall Xbox app once again. So you can just type in Xbox app. In my case, I've already uninstalled it. Uninstall Xbox app and then install it from Xbox website. So you can go to this website or you can simply just type in Xbox app in Google search. And then you can go to Xbox website, go to the official website only. And then you will see download the app option. Click on download the app and then you can run this exe file and then you can install xbox app and here you can see it's launching
still not working the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on also set time automatically if this is off turn it on then click on sync now sync now is important click on if you see any error just click on sync now once again try it multiple times and once the sync is done go to time and language language and region and select your country over here and then check still not working the next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box click on ws reset this will reopen microsoft store and then now you can try to launch xbox app and then check still not working the next step is to update windows 11 now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart the computer and after the system restart you can launch xbox app and then check still not working the next step is to install xbox identity provider now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see xbox identity provider click on download click on download and then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so open microsoft store if not installed in my case it is already installed so here you can see installed if not installed you will see install button or get button install it and then check also still not working the next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box click on services find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted over here and then click on ok now find xbox services at the end here you can see four xbox services make a make a double click on each xbox services set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted click on ok again set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok automatic apply start click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running you can make a right click and then click on if start is highlighted click on start or restart make a right click click on start or restart now find microsoft store install service set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now you have to relaunch xbox app and then you can check still not working next step is to run this powershell command this command is provided in the video description copy this type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell make sure you run it as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color just ignore it let the process complete this will install the default windows app and once this is done everything will be red and once this is done you can close this window and then you can try to launch xbox app once again still not working next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl go to inet cpl.cpl go to advanced tab over here scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked and then hit apply click on ok hit apply is important and then check now if nothing is working you can update your windows using media creation tools now for this you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see media creation tool over here now click on download now and then run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on accept now by default windows 11 would be selected click on next over here select iso file over here then click on next set it to desktop you can save it to desktop and then click on save over here 
and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And then click on next and then you will see the finish option. Hit finish and let it close automatically. It will take a couple of seconds and then it, this will close. Now go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file and then you will see setup file, make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. Click on next, accept and then ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then click on install. After the installation, log it to the computer and then you can try to open Xbox app and then you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to open Xbox app successfully on your Windows computer. And you should not receive this error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel. At the top there was install uh, Microsoft fail to install something like that you can in, if you see that you can just open close xbox app you can just make a right click close xbox app and then you can relaunch xbox app and then you can check